Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to set up our quartz and sulfur uh, little mini production chain. And if we have time, uh, we'll get started on our motors as well. Uh, I've made all the blueprints for all of that stuff. Um, so, yeah, we'll just uh, see how, how our time goes after we do the quartz and the sulfur. So, um, let's take a quick look at that. Quartz and sulfur products. Um, I've, I And I got to thinking about this too, and I think I'm going to change a couple things around here. Uh, but basically, this is making quartz crystal. That's making silica. That's making black powder. Um, what I did is I set these up with smart splitters, so it'll send the overflow to the sink. But I got to thinking, you know, all of this stuff is just... It's going to be minuscule in terms of getting us points. And so I think I'm going to not do the smart splitter setup. And we're just going to do this um, without it and let the, you know, the bins fill up. And then I'll just let the machines, you know, go stay idle until, you know, I pull some out. And then it'll kick back in and just keep the bins full. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. All right. So that being said, um... Why don't we do this, though, um, just in case I change my, well, if I change my mind later, I'd have to put it in a different location, but let's just do um, smart splitter. Oh, okay, uh, quartz and s I guess I'll do SMSP for a small smart splitter. Um, and we'll just save that version of it. I pro Like I said, I probably won't ever use it, but at least we saved it just in case. Okay, so what that means then is all this stuff can go away. Um, so let's just get all this out of here. I put those walls up mostly to, you know, line up the smart splitters on the belt, but then I decided to leave it in place. Um, and we don't need all this other fancy pants stuff going on now either. Uh, well, at least not, not that stuff there. Uh, we'll just put normal lifts on both of these. Uh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, I wanted to change this. Hot key number six back to a normal lift because it's currently a mark two there we go okay yeah this will this will just keep things simpler here okay yeah so we'll just let these fill up and then we'll just let the machines go idle um, you know, when it fills up and not worry about it. Okay. So we're going to remove that and just re rewrite that like so. Uh, all right. If I go to blueprints, I should have, oh, that's the one. Okay. You know what? On second thought, I'm just going to delete that. I mean, if I really needed it, I could always make it again. It's not a big deal. Let's just get rid of that one. Okay, let's add a category. We'll call this category miscellaneous. Oh, that always happens. Okay, and uh, we'll just select a question mark because it's miscellaneous. How's that? And then we'll put this down into here. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set this up. Um, take all that. We're going to set it up over in this spot right here. This is a good spot for it. And, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's get take out the road barriers to there. And I'm going to grab the one meter concrete and set that to zoop mode. And let's see, we're going to want to, uh, four, five, okay, we're going to go out six, five, six, 
and then we're this is going to be one, two, three, four, and then five. Right. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this boulder here. Well, it's just barely not in the way, but it might be later. Okay. Now, bring that over to here. And this back to here. Oh, damn it. I was going to say, wait a minute. What the hell? That should cover that. There. Okay. So this section, we're going to make the grip metal. And that should be five. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Oh, actually... Um, can, okay, can I do this? It just barely <laughs> doesn't clip into the ground. I'm going to slide all this over one. And the reason for that is because I'm trying to, and with all my builds, always have a one tile border. Uh, even inside. See, this is going to be an outdoor walkway here. Uh, but inside the facility itself, I want to have that one tile walkway. And for that matter, I think we need to bring this one out one more too then. Yes, I, I believe that's what I want to do. Okay. Very good. Now let's get back here. Go to blueprints, grab the quartz and sulfur production, and it needs to come this way. Uh, I think that's right, but isn't. We can take it down again. No, I think I want to bring that back one more. Okay, so. Let's press F and then R for blueprint mode. There we go. So we want to line the back end of it up on this line here. Also slide it over this way one. Oh, Jesus. Okay, you know what? I should be doing this from a, a tower. It's just the perspective down here. It's a real pain in the ass sometimes. All right, let's try this again. So there, there. I think that's what we want. Okay. Yeah, that that looks good. Okay, so let's get, let's go ahead and do power first. So I think what I'll do, you know what, let's just, wait. Let's just make this a walkway too, why the hell not, right? I'll have to put some rails up. Uh, okay, so let's grab you. Oh, you, eh, you're a double. I don't want a double for that. I want a single. 
and we're gonna put you right on the edge there and there so the cable does not clip through when we hook it up I could run off of there too I suppose but it's all connected to the same thing at this point anyways We have a power connection. Where is the power connection on this guy? It's in the back. This one's all the way over on this side too. Okay, so that being the case, what we'll do is we'll run a pole to here and oh yeah right you're on that side okay let's what happens if we go there oh it's just <laughs> it's just barely clipping damn it Jim Okay. I guess then in that case, what we'll do is we'll we'll have to hold this back off the center. No, I don't like that actually. We'll hold the next one back off the center. Put this one here. Okay, no clipping, good. And then we're gonna run another one to here. Okay, that all looks good. I guess they'll be powered up. All right, now, <clears throat> what we're going to do next is we're going to uh, I think we're going to start here and we're going to make a little pathway going this direction. Just trying to think if I want to try and get, <clears throat> excuse me, th three. Of these off of here. Yeah, you know what, Let, let's work it from this side first. Oh no, we got to do four. Hmm. That's going to be tight. That one hangs over, so this would be one, two, three. Yeah, so we're already hanging over into the next one. Okay. Then, yeah, we're going to, we are going to need a, a two wide path here to do this right. That's fine, though. That's kind of what I had tested earlier anyways okay so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna come out to uh, we should actually do these first because they're closer okay and now let's go to this way And make that too high. Okay, that looks good. Now we're gonna 
go to this way and I think there. Let's lock that for a second and double check it. Now we should be able to come back there. Okay, that's looking good. All right, back to this. So the next one should be, yeah, should straddle right down the center. Um, I was trying to think if I want to do this a little bit differently, actually. If we went here... And then... I was trying to get my my the spacing I want first. Okay, so that's... That's what, that's what we're doing, right? I think. <laughs> yeah. So that's evenly spaced. Now, we could put them closer together, but I don't think we need to. Yeah. I, I think this is good. Okay. So this guy's got to go here. Damn saves, man. Okay. Now we want to bring this one back to there and then bump it to this way. No, I, I, uh, I didn't do that right, obviously. You need to go there. That looks good. And then the final one goes here, but then two this way. Okay, that looks good. Everything looks level. I think, oh, you know what? This one isn't either. Yep, I screwed that one up too. What about this one? That one's good. So we need to bring this one back, I think, one. Let's do a a double check before we proceed. I mean, I, I can pretty much tell from here that it's good, but... Let's just go take a look at it anyway from the bird's eye view. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Um... Go ahead and bring all the other belts to this point so they're all even across. Good. Okay, so now we want to come to here and that's its max location, or distance rather. No. I want to move this over to here, right? Yes. Okay. 
Let's bring this all the way into there. Okay, from down here these look correct. Pretty sure they are, but let's double check again. Yep, that looks good. Okay. I think I want to come out to here. I just thought of something. Uh, I need to... Yeah, I'm going to need to split. Split that. Because both of these lines are taking quartz. This one's taking sulfur. This one's taking coal. All right. So um, quartz is all the way at the top. If I go swimming and then get out of the water, I'm not swimming anymore. See how that works? Okay. If I um, put a splitter here. Yeah, shoot. It's not going to line up on the conveyor belt. Okay, I, I know what I'm going to do. If I put a lift here, like that, I think that's where we want to be. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to remove this and this. And we're going to put a splitter here, going that way. And... <clears throat> That might be in the right position. Uh, we, we need to put it that way, though. I think that'll probably work. Okay, so that can just go in there, and this should be able to go there. That looks good. Right? Yeah. That looks good. Okay. Now we just need to feed the quartz into here. So we're going to... All right. So looking at this uh, and how close it is to that belt, um, I was going to to do a nice little 90 wrap around, but we're too close to the belt. So that either means I got to move all this shit back or we just throw a splitter up there. Um, I think we'll go the splitter up. I mean, there's a, that doesn't look bad either. Yeah, so let's just do that. I mean, that doesn't look terrible, actually. Okay. So that gets our quartz going. Uh, incidentally, these don't take in a lot. Um, this is 37 and a half per minute, and this one takes in 22 and a half. All right, now, for the rest of these guys, since we... Since I went ahead and did the splitter, we might as well just go swimming. <laughs> um, we'll probably just do the same thing uh, for these other ones. And if we're going to do that, then I want to put this probably here. And this one here. Whoops. Yeah, that's the same same positioning as the other one. All right. So let's see. We want to go to the second to the highest belt for the sulfur, uh, which could be this one, and then the lowest one for the for the coal. Okay, that lines up for us. Looking good. What we're going to do is we're going to remove these other ones. We're going to remove these. Just so it's not so crowded up here. Okay, and then, um, actually, 
now that I think about it, let's just run straight off of this belt, except for it's not, it's not snapping for me, unfortunately. This is a 120 coal belt. That looks pretty straight there. Oh, for Pete's sake, come on, man. That's like the fourth time I've fallen off that goddamn thing. There. <laughs> Should be good. Okay. Now, because um, this build is just its own thing, and I'm not planning on doing anything more with it later, uh, we're going to go ahead and enclose it. And I think I'm going to also... I think I'm also going to cover the the conveyor lines too, and <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing out at the big the big conveyor roadway out there. Um, the only reason I haven't yet is, is because I needed to start making silica because I'm planning on using a lot of glass. So that'll be another thing that we'll we'll do here soon. For this build, what I thought we would do. How much silica do I currently have? 159. Let's grab some more, because that's what it's for. Okay. So what we're going to do for this one is, I think we're going to try this hex frame window. And we're going to have to start it here. Okay, so let's take that down to there. That looks cool. Do the same thing on this side. And this one we're going to take all the way down. Oh, yeah, let's work our way back this way. I'm going to get on a tower. Can't wait till we get our jetpack and our hover, hover thingamadoodle. Let's go to uh, roof pieces and I'm going to do the, I think I'm just going to do the one meter roof. And we're going to take that down to here, I think. Right. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Okay. And then we'll flip it around this way. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. And we're going to do a... Kind of a checker pattern here. Yeah, there we go. That looks cool. I think it looks cool anyway. Good. Now, for this building, um, let's go ahead and build the wall out again here. Might be actually easier for us to do that from that side. Yeah. Okay, so for this one, what I'm going to do is we're going to go with, uh, let's see, walls. Let's go with the two meter pitch. Okay, and then what we're going to do is get the one meter wall and bring that up like that. This one up three times. And then this one 
is a full wall. Uh, in fact, those will be full walls all the way over. Uh, okay, so this needs needs to be a full wall as well. Now I think we need that and that, and then another full wall. Okay, now from here, I think I'm going to actually... Hmm, do I want to go one more or do I want to start bringing it back down the other way? I think we'll start bringing it back down. Alright, so what we'll do here is we'll do this and then flip this around like so. And these need to be the little guys. Come on, get up there. There you go. Yeah, I think I like that. All right, I'm going to put the same thing uh, in um, over on this side. So let's start by grabbing... Here, i got to get this out of the way, or either that or... This wall is going to start here. This I might just leave open, or what we could do is we could put a door here and uh, paint it black, or we could try and leave it green. Hmm. I think I like it green, actually. All right. So let me get this other side done here now. Uh. Okay, I gotta get up again. And you're not gonna let me put that down, are you? You doity rant. Whoops. All right. Um, let's do this all the way to the front. I think that's what I want to do. I was just uh, having second thoughts about this. So we should have those two. Oh, I know what's wrong. This isn't supposed to be here because I want I want an open area there. I was looking at that and I go, what the hell, man? How come that's not coming together right? Okay, turn this this way. Grab a couple more of these. Okay, let's jump down here. There, this can go here. Can I walk on top of this? 
Huzzah, look at that. All right, so we want... Uh, this to go here. I believe. Okay. Yeah, I think that's right. Now, let's take the roof piece, except for this time we want the two meter roof piece. Oh. I wonder how that would look if we hang it over. Well, not, <laughs> not, not that much. Uh, it's going to hang over an awful lot, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to like that. It's going to hang over way too much. I mean, I can tell you already I'm not going to like it. If we had like a, a half width piece, that would be perfect, but we don't. So. All right, now. In uh, keeping with the checkered pattern, I'm going to do every other one here. I believe if you ever if you've ever seen this on a large building in real life, it's for air, it's for planes. So it breaks up the pattern like on a tall building, and planes can see it better. I think that's what the that means when you see the checkered roof. Okay. Um all right now. Do we want to try and put some trim pieces in? Like maybe these painted beams. Possibly. If. All right, let's go to diagonal mode. Yeah. I can't really tell from here. I guess that's the angle. Does that look right? I think so. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not cooperating. Let's get this right about here. Hmm. That's really weird. Maybe we should... Let's try and run it from the peak down. So we'll start there, lock it in place, and then take it down to there. Now the question is, can I finish it off properly here though? It, it doesn't want to, god damn it, it doesn't want to follow the same angle. It's either that angle or that angle. Hold control? Nope, that doesn't do a damn thing. What if we tried the beam connector? <laughs> it's just a little too short, man. Ah. 
I think it looks good otherwise. What happens if we put this like that? Okay, we can get all the way down here because, you know, it's not too long. And we can put the... Uh, well, that's interesting looking. I kind of like that, actually. Hmm. Not quite what I intended, but... So I don't know what to do about this. Uh, actually, you know what? I have an idea. What if we do this? Aha. Okay. So we just got to... Yeah, it, it kind of screws up though when we... When we try and make it long, uh, shorter. This is really janky. Okay, that's, that's the right angle there, but as soon as I try and make it shorter, it wants to do its thing. Yeah, that's not going to work. Hmm. We could try this. It's not exactly the same as it is in front, but I don't know how else to make this damn thing work. So I think that's going to have to be good enough. All right, let's change this back to default. Wait, what are you doing? These things are so jank. Um... No, that needs to be down lower. Yeah, I want it to go along there. And I also want it to go along here. You know, we're just adding trim pieces, right? That's the idea here. Okay, now, if we just come straight down, I guess we have to go down there. I mean, that looks pretty good, really. At least on this end, it does. <laughs> I don't know about the back end so much. Um, what if we also did this? Hmm. Maybe we should bring that all the way down. Yeah. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's go. That's as about as far as we can go that way. We'll put this guy right here. get up on here yeah should be able to there we go okay that sits a why does that sit a little higher there we go I ha I guess I attached it to something else Now, can we... No, we need to do the diagonal from up top side there. The other thing I was going to do, too, is put this cap piece on here. Like so. 
so. I mean, <laughs> it's not precisely what I had in mind, but it kind of looks like that's the way it's supposed to be. So we're just going to say that's what is way, the way it is. You know what else, though, too? Those aren't... Those aren't quite meeting up correctly up there either, but... Oh. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to mess with it just for a little bit to see if I can get that fixed. And if I can't, we're not going to worry about it. So those little details, though, right? Okay, let's get rid of this. So these beams should be... Yeah, see, this one sits higher than that one. That's the problem. Okay, let's go back to diagonal mode. And... That's better. <laughs> now it's not going to go square. Oh, are you kidding me? Really? Oh, come on, game. You're killing me. Absolutely killing me. Um. What if we tried the, the bigger one? Yeah, it's the same issue. Go back to that thingy there. The only thing I can think of to do here is... Uh, no. I want... There. I want, uh, default. So if we attach this to here, and run it along here, there. Okay, that's the only way I could get that thing to behave. And that looks pretty good, too, actually. I think that looks pretty good. All right, now, let's come over here. If this one is already in place there, with a cap on it already, now what will the diagonal pieces do? They'll behave the way that I want them to. Oh, uh, maybe I spoke too soon. Uh, nope, that's what I want right there. Okay. See, now this one... This one doesn't matter. Because it's kind of blocked by that one anyway, so... We don't have to worry about that one. All right, let's go back to default mode. Bring you all the way to the edge there. That looks good. <clears throat> um... We could try, I guess we could try and run this along the ridge also. What just happened? <laughs> I don't know what I just did. <laughs> For goodness sakes. There. Yeah, 
it's it's kind of tricky you know it's it's a, all about what you you know kind of where you start it yeah it's just really weird so yeah we want to start it flat like this uh, I'm missing oh shit I'm missing stuff okay let me go get some more parts here almost done with this Right? Seems to me like this one's hanging out more. Uh, that seems to be about halfway in the middle. Okay. Okay, what I want to do here is here. Let's run it from the from this side. That looks really good. It's just like I said, these things are kind of jank to work with a little bit. All right, uh, that is on. Oh, I grabbed the connector, not the beam. That's on default. Okay, so. this all the way back to here and back to I think that's right it kind of looks like it's sticking out but um, you know too far but I think that's just the reflection on the uh, on the glass all right and then we'll do one here Cap for this. Bring that down to there. We could do a walkway outside. I don't think I will, though. At least not right now. If I change my mind later. Then uh, we'll do it later, but for now I think we're good. I wonder if one, two, three, four, five. I wonder if we should do another one here. that happen all right we're gonna have to go deal with that take this back off grab this and come down all the way um, I'll fix this power line by putting a, a double wall socket in there Alright, I don't think we need to do that beam down here. I think it's it's good. Up to there. Yep. I like that. Alright, let's put this there for a moment. For the moment. No, that's not right. I wanna get right there and then down to here. Still not right. Gotta get right up 
in there and then down to here. Okay. One, two, one, two. I think we should also do one there and one there if I can. Sure don't like that flickering, but it's not as bad if you make it the same color. Um, I suppose we could just do that. Sure, why the hell not? I mean, for that matter, maybe we should just cover the whole thing in. Yeah, why not? Sure. <laughs> if we... If... Oh, hold on. There's supposed to be... Here, actually, let's try that again. If, if I hold down... Is it Control or Alt? Or Shift? I thought there was a way you could replace a wall with a door, but maybe it doesn't count for that because it's a window and not a, a wall. Don't know. I'm going to put this here and just look at it and see if I like it. Uh, if nothing else, we'll just use it temporarily so we can finish putting the beams on this side. Okay, put one here. I like this. I think it's looking good. Some product coming in here. Very nice. I want to try one more thing here. I don't know if I'm going to actually like it or not. I think I do. I think I do like it. So basically, this is our quartz and sulfur shed. You know what our quartz and sulfur shed needs? Is some lighting. That's what it needs. Uh, so, architecture. Wait, uh, where's lights at? Organization? Yeah. Okay, why... can't tell if those are lined up with each other. They are, but they're not spaced. I think we want to move these over to the left a little bit. Yeah, like there maybe? Okay. Now, um, let's grab a, a double wall outlet, put that there, and we're going to 
take this down altogether. We'll grab a single, take it. Okay, if we do that, and that, and that, except for I'm out of wire. Oh, that's where they connect. Hmm. Okay, if that's the case, then... I think this needs to... Yeah, hold on a sec. Take that apart. It needs to be right here. There. Alright. We don't need these two up here then. Instead, we need to run this to there, and this one can go here. Look at the light. Let there be light. Except for <laughs> all the lights inside and not on our storage. I mean, is that a big deal? I don't know. I guess we could move... I guess we could move them down like this. Is there any way to t tilt these? You can rotate them, but I don't think you can tilt them. It also doesn't let you line them up on each other either, which is kind of weird. What if we grab a flat roof piece? Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think what we want to do is we want to bring it that way to where this end is kind of flush with the wall, but then pull it back one. And that appears to... mostly center it. Let's make sure nothing's clipping through the roof. Nope, that looks good. Okay. So I think that's that's the solution for this. I guess what I have to do is... Yeah. Let's put these in. I was trying to avoid that because I thought it would cover up the... The insulators, but it doesn't... We might still be able to get away with this. Yeah, see, you know, it doesn't cover them up. They're the ones that, that I, you know, ran the cables along for these lights. Okay, we just about got this. We just had to finagle with it for a while. All right, so let's take this light. And that is right smack dab in the center. Oh, beautiful. Okay. We need to move that insulator over a little bit. Yeah, this is good. 
It's still kind of a jank way to have to do it, though, but this whole problem could have been avoided if these lights would tilt with the slant of the roof. Um, because not everybody's going to have a flat ceiling in their factories, you know? Case in point. But, under the circumstances, I think we figured this out pretty damn good. Let's, uh, let's get ready of you. And, uh, put you right there. There we go. I'm not going to run... I'm, I'm not going to try and run another set, you know, down here like we had before. Um, I don't think it'll look good for one thing. And, you know, just those three lights alone light this place up really good. It's just that the front of these are kind of in the sh in a shadow because they're so tall, but that's just not that big a deal, really. I mean, this is all for aesthetics anyways when it's all said and done. So, yeah, that's the way to fix that, guys. If you're ever in this situation and you're trying to use these damn lights, um, just lay down some some roof pieces, some flat roof pieces, and then you can mount them straight to there. I think that worked out really well. All right, I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. I'm done futzing with this place. But it came together pretty nice, I think. All things said and done. I like it. I like that we were able to figure out, you know, the situation with the lights, too. And, uh, yeah, now we have a steady supply of silica, quartz crystal, and gunpowder. Black powder, to be precise. We need this to make um, our shotgun ammo, among other things. We need this to make glass, of course. And we need this to make gunpowder to blow shit up. Very important stuff to have. Absolutely. Okay, so the plan for the next episode is uh, to get going on our our motor production. And once we finish that, I think we'll be pretty much finished with our steel factory. That's not to say we won't, you know, later on have to make more stuff, uh, you know, from steel. In fact, we, we almost certainly will. I'm going to go into fly mode here. But in terms of a factory that's that's purpose is to make the steel products as opposed to being in an intermediate product um i think that'll be it and then then we'll finish this building out um spiff it up get a roof on it make it look really cool um i don't think at this point in time i don't think i'm going to go vertical with this i think it, that's about, about as high as it's going to get and then you know um We'll either start building out this way, or we'll start building out that way, or maybe even out that way. In fact, the next thing we're going to do is start messing with oil production. Uh, you know, plastic rubber is in particular to start with. Um, and so, since the oil is coming from that direction, it probably would make sense for us to do our oil stuff out this direction. But I am planning on also, you know, building out that way too when the time comes. That is it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. We need to get a screenshot of this place, don't we? Screenshot is done got. Except for actually I need to move over this way. Okay, now it's done got. Alright, see ya.